Do you know, I consider myself a pacifist. And honestly, since I started this channel, I have released, as of yesterday, 500 videos. Some of them may be irrelevant to you or to others, might even be irrelevant to me. But I didn't do it because I wanted to be in the public. I didn't do it to expand my presence. I did it because it is the best way to express your opinions and your views without being shut out. And that has been the biggest controversy over the last five years, more so the last three years since C-19 started. This Bill C-11 and all this control that people just can't let go. Now I've released four more videos today and this one I'm recording now is my 505. 505 videos. Now I have many series that I'm doing and each is relevant at the time that I find it relevant. I mean, everyone's life has its ups and downs. Everybody's life has ins and outs. Good days, bad days. Some days you don't even want to be woken up. But nevertheless, you exist, and that is where you stay, in existence. So until that number is called for you, as some may call it, or when what you have to say is finally said, then you can realize intimately that your job is complete. Now, I've discussed several different topics on my channel. I have released several shorts that I never thought I would possibly do. And it's based on in the now activity. Nothing that I do is irrelevant. Nothing that anyone does is irrelevant. But to clarify why I do what I do is a very simple analogy. To be aware of your present moment. It took too many years to suggest that I finally became aware of who I am. And I'm not the devil in disguise, even though the shirt does have the colors of the devil, just like up in Canada, red, the color of the devil. Well, that's not true. Canada is a beautiful country. It has so much to offer, but you cannot limit what it offers to certain people. You cannot let those opportunities be given to individuals and not to the rest. This planet is made for everyone. We have a capacity to share everything that we know and love on this planet. Yes, our families. Yes, our friends. I don't know if you love your job, but that's for another discussion. My point, and I like to make points, is the fact that Everything that we do, I mean, not just myself as an individual, but everybody as an individual, no matter where they happen to be landing in life. It's just where they're supposed to be. I did start another series, and I said it would be random throughout April. And, strictly speaking, it's meant to be random. Because you can never think of everything that I say today as being 
the word of God. <laughs> the word of the devil, for that matter. It's the word of my opinion, my view. There is so much that is unfair in the world. And mostly it's, it's because of misunderstanding. Our lives unfold just as they're meant to unfold. But no one has the right to make it unfold beyond its design. And that is a big problem with humanity. They like to unravel people's lives and communities at random. No, that, that's a control. It's a mechanism to control, which we do not have the right to control. Which brings me to my latest series called Letting Go. Now, granted, all of these phrases that I say is from an unknown artist. But it allowed me to be me. It pushed aside all of the negative energy that brought me so much pain. And every individual, every human being has suffered pain. It's unavoidable. But is it not a direction given by the karmic universe that you are not where you're supposed to be? In my belief, yes, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it's saying. So here I am at my 505, my 505th video release. And I have these words to say, to let go does not mean to stop caring. It means I can't do it for someone else. To let go is not to enable, but to allow learning from the natural consequences. To let go is not to cut myself off. It's the realization I can't control another. Now, if you ever wanted to know the 18 verses of let go, and you have an issue with narcotics or, well, alcohol, gambling, even sex, if any of those things rule your life, then you need to let go. So remember, one, to let go does not mean to stop caring. It means I cannot do it for someone else. Two, to let go is not to cut myself off. It's the realization I can't control another. And three, to let go is not to enable but to allow learning from natural consequences. There is still 15 other sayings and probably tens of thousands of sayings if you look back over human history. I recently started listening to um, a motivational YouTube channel that I found so motivational that it prompted me to do this. You see, each and every reaction is a direct result of a reaction. Or how does the saying go? Each action has an equal, and each action is, has an equal action. Okay. Now I'm trying to think about this one. Every action has an equal action, reaction. 
every action has an equal reaction. Uh, that's the best I can do for today. I need to get on with my day because as you can see behind me, there's still a lot of work to be done in the 1894 duplex, which is the renovations of the century. Now, I am not one to take the path too often traveled. I'm that person that takes the path less traveled. Now I've released emails to a handful of individuals that I think may be beneficial to myself and my partner. Because being in the preliminary stages of letting go of everything you know, or at least everything to this day you know, it means that it's time to move on. And the only thing holding us back, well, to be honest, it's me. I'm holding us back. So, you'll notice over some of my videos, I often will uh, take videos of newly developed buildings and construction projects. I'm kind of a construction guy myself. I'm not afraid of change. I actually welcome change. But more often than not, we realize, or I realize, that I haven't let go of that last project. You might say I'm basically putting it off to the next day. Or another attribute of the human condition is the um, pessimism. Well, there's so many different euthanish, <laughs> euthanisms in most of our lives, but at the moment I can't think of the name. Trying to do this, of course, I don't use a, a, um, a script. This is all off this cuff, off this sleeve. Nothing's held back. But I think that it's time to let go. Now I've let go many times throughout my life and it's never been an easy task, but it's a necessary task. And uh, this is another one of those times where I need to let go. No more procrastinating. That was the word I was looking for five minutes ago, procrastination. I was listening to one of these motivational speeches earlier yesterday, and it was specific to a quote who I can't remember it was from, but it goes something like this. What we regret the most is what we didn't do in the first place or something to that effect. That's kind of my own quote now. Because much like life, we're all different. We interpret life differently. And you can't fit everybody into the same box. Because the harder you try to put everybody in the same box, or let's say in the same egg tray, you're gonna get scrambled because no individual is like any other individual. 
There's similarities, but they're not the same. Each and every thing in our lives is different from the person next to us. Our family, family members, extended family, people in general, my fellow human beings, we are all different and we will remain different for another four billion years. Brings me to the conclusion that had we been here before, when I released my 500th video, I wanted it to be about the future. Now, granted, after I had looked at how many videos I've released, it was actually 501. But at the time I was doing a piece on Starship. And Starship would have been my 501 video. But because I felt so connected to the universe and to the significance of Starship, I went back only a few days ago and I deleted one of my videos so that Starship and my commentary on Starship would be the number 500. And then after experiencing my life for the last few days, something ignited in me that something needed to be said. And I've said it. That's why now, here, I let go. And this is 505, my 505th video that I release. As a matter of fact, I believe it's the 15th today of April. If numbers are your thing, then granted, some things just happen because they are meant to happen. And there are some things that you can control, other things you can't. All you can do is accept them, deal with them, and find a way around them if that is what needs to be done. But it, what it comes down to is accepting everything that we are and giving us the capacity to change the things that we cannot change. The wisdom to know the serenity prayer is what I'm getting to. It's been a long time since I've read the serenity prayer or I've even, you know, commentary about it. I think one of the reasons why is because it is about God. What is God to you? What is God to me? <clears throat> God to me is a very simple analogy. And it's something that I've lived with and I've pursued for the last 22 years of my sobriety. God to me is good, orderly direction. I'm a spirited person. And for those who may not appreciate what I have to say, but it needs to be said because too much is camouflaged in our day-to-day -day living. I am Wapanu Makwe Makwa. That was a name given to me by an elder because I went to experience the Sundance. Now, 
I did not complete five sessions or five seasons of Sundance. But I did experience three. And because my number is three, that's all I needed to understand who I am and understand everyone else as to who they are. But let's not continue on this random <laughs> Let's just say five oh five rings completion. Peace and serenity in my life. And hopefully, possibly, maybe, brings you some peace too. Once again, I'm Dominic Raphael. This is up in Canada. And this is part and parcel to another new series, which is part of letting go and that being aware. Once we are aware, there is no limit to what we can accomplish. So, thank you for your time. And I say, Good night.